How to optimize your React apps with React Memo. Memo being short for memoization. We jump onto Wikipedia, memoization is an optimization technique used primarily to speed up computer programs by storing the results of expensive function calls and returning the cache results when the same inputs occur again. A bit long-winded, but as far as Wikipedia explanations go, that was pretty good. But let's jump into a practical example to solidify this idea. In the browser, I have a pretty standard form. As I fill out the values in the fields, the form behaves like it should. But let's take a look under the hood. Opening my DevTools, I'll select the React Profiler tab. And in the Settings icon towards the top right-hand corner, I will turn on Highlight Updates When Components Render. Now testing out my form again, as I input values, you'll see the components light up with a colored border. What happens is the React Profiler tool is highlighting each time my form component and all its children re-render. So the next logical question is, why are all the input field components re-rendering when I'm only changing the value of one field? Let's take a look at the code to see what's going on. Already predefined is our form components. Contained are the input fields, which have onChange handlers to update the form's respective state variables when a user types in a value to the form. When a component state updates, it re-renders along with its nested children. Hence the reason why every single input field re-renders, even though we're only modifying one. So let's optimize by importing React Memo. React Memo is a higher order component that is meant to consume another component, in this case, my input field. I'll add a second arbitrarily named functional argument called remember, which is usually optional, but to highlight the power of React Memo, I'll define it. The second functional argument, remember, is prescribed to have two parameters, previous props and next props. These two parameters demonstrate the power of React Memo. React Memo remembers my input field's props from re-render to re-render. If previous props is equal to next props, return true, which will prevent the input field from re-rendering. Otherwise, if they're not equal, return false, and the component will re-render. I'll clean up the syntax with something equivalent. Even more powerful, I can specify which props I want to track from my input field. In this case, the value prop from my input field, which is always updating from the input of the user. Hopping back over to the browser and testing my changes, we can see that the profiler shows only the focused input field is re-rendering when a value is typed in, which is what we want. So why does this matter? My form component is trivial. But redundant re-renders in a larger and more complex application could slow down your app's performance, so it's best to optimize when you can. If you want to know more about this pattern, if you'd like to discuss it, or write your own pattern, check out Patternite. The link is in the description down below. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.